Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the brand new Renault Clio 2024 and in this video we will make the full review interior, exterior, technical data, everything about this new Clio you will find out in this video so stay with me until the end. Now I want to give you some information and technical data about the car and also by the way if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Gallicker Garage. We are in Arburg here but they have also in other city like in Bern. Anyway I will leave the link in the description also on the screen so check out Gallicker Garage. They have also already a discount on this uh, Renault Clio and not only on this Renault Clio but I saw also on other cars. We have the Renault Clio that the version it's Esprit Alpine that means it's top of the range version and it kind of have everything on it so in this video you will see how it's to look like a full option car so that's really interesting so you can choose what option you can take for your car or how you can configure your car. Now the starting price of this version is uh, that comes with a 1.6 liter petrol engine is the E-Tech that means this is a full hybrid I will go into detail in a second. The starting price it, it begins at 28,100 francs at least here in Switzerland in other country the price might be better with all these options that you see here all the options from here are included but all the options down here like winter package 400 francs you have package premium sound system 500 francs both sound system great sound system then you have this pack city city premium 800 francs and then you have the color metallic color 850 francs and the price will go up to 30,650 francs but here at Gallicker Garage you have a discount 2,000 francs discount so the final price will be 28,650 francs uh, I should say for what I saw in the car and I drive it a little bit today it's quite impressive and the price is quite good for Switzerland. In other country I know the price is even better and for what this Renault Clio offer I have to say it's really good offer because it has an amazing multimedia system. It has a great cockpit, very good quality you will see in this video. I will show you as we go. Now let me go to the technical data and let me start with what we have here on the paper. So the consumption is around 4.3 liter, uh, also CO2 emission 93 grams. On the other side you can see that the weight of the car 1401 kilograms. It has around 94 PS horsepower and it's in B class efficient class. Now it's a front wheel drive system. It comes with a 1.6 liter petrol engine combined with an electric motor and also combined with a battery. The power, total power of the car it's 143 horsepower, 148 newton meters. The petrol engine it's a four cylinders in line and also all this speed it's connected to an automatic transmission four plus two gear so it has in total six gear it's a special transmission for those full hybrid that we find it here on Renault now the top speed of the car 174 km per hour 0 to 109.3 seconds when it comes to the trunk space 391 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1069 liters talking a little bit about the battery that's combined the power with a uh, petrol engine we have a battery of 1.2 kilowatt hour and it's located under the trunk so this is really impressive I mean for a full hybrid 1.2 kilowatt hour battery it's pretty big usually they are under one kilowatt hour so that's interesting we will see when we do the test drive how much time you can drive only in electric mode this will be interesting so stay close if you want to see the test drive as well the tank capacity 39 liters the ground clearance 14.2 centimeters turning circle 10.4 meters the front suspension independent McPherson and the rear suspension we have spring strut and elastic beam so pretty good I will check them out on the test drive and we will see how we'll handle it's a front wheel drive system as I said before and I think those are the most important technical data that you need to know about the car now let's start the review we will talk about the exterior and then interior and then in the end as always we will do the conclusion so yeah let's do it guys the same key as Renault use it also on other models with a new Renault logo on the back what you can do with the key of course lock and unlock the car it comes with a manual lift gate in the trunk so you can only unlock the trunk and also you can turn on the lights so you can see from here 
the lights reflection there and also on the back i have to say i'm quite impressed with the lights they look pretty nice and also in the night time i will try to make a video in the night time so you can see a little bit better but look at them they are cool really cool and they are full led lights and also in the front let me go in the front i really love the front end of the car from the first time when i saw the car i was quite impressed with the way it looks and i know the french are really good when it comes to design and look how beautiful they look the lights I really like them. Anyway, we will talk a little bit later about the lights. Now, other thing that you can do with the car, it's lock and unlock, but the great part is that when you come close to the car, check this out, you don't have to press any button because the car will unlock for you. And you can see it comes also with electric folding mirrors. This is a great feature. And also if you go farther away, look at this, the car will just locked. And, and I really like this feature because you don't have to touch anything. Anyway. This is the key. First of all, I have to say that the car fit pretty well with this gray, uh, red color, gray, dark. It looks really nice. And also the rims on this Alpine Esprit version look just phenomenal. I mean, the way it fit on the car look gorgeous. I was always impressed with what this Alpine Esprit look on Renault car. So all the version, all the new version from Renault that comes in Alpine Esprit, it looks really, really great from my point of view. This is really competing with the premium other brands and in terms of design, French are really good. So I like very much the exterior design. My favorite part on this Renault Clio is the front end for sure. I really love the way they design the lights, the shape, the grille, the bumper there, and the way it continuing the lights on the side look just phenomenal. I don't know about you, but I really love the way they design this area here. It really stand out and it's kind of unique and you don't find it on other uh, cars. It's, it's quite aggressive. So you have the daytime running lights around here. You have LED light in this area. It's not a matrix LED light, but it's LED light. And also on the upper side, the same story. Here you have also the sign right there. Look at this. The quality is quite, quite nice. Also, if I go a little bit forward, you can see a little bit better the lights. Look how nice they look. The front end is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And in general, what do you think about the car? I think it looks great. From the back end, it's kind of the same car, but the front end, I think, is the the most change on the car from the previous version. This area there is the most change and it looks really nice. If you look at the uh, second half of the car from here back, you will probably think like this is probably the previous version. So you can make a big difference. It's a little bit change if you look in, in uh, detail in deep, but I think the front is the most change. The back look also nice, but I'm a big fan of what they did with the front end of the car. So overall it's an attractive car and i can say definitely it's a beautiful car on the roof here you have the radio antenna in black piano black look great then you have this spoiler that's extended here look also sporty and very nice with a little bit of piano black here tinted windows on the rear tinted windows on the side also between the on the b pillar here you have glossy black plastic look quite quite nice and also the handles here to open the door uh, are also in black piano black and it looks really really nice if we go a little bit lower we have the new logo and in the middle you have the camera reverse camera clear writing in piano black then you have the e-tech hybrid so you know which version it is on the right side and then you have those uh, tail lights that are full led lights and also they have a very nice design in the nighttime they look much better it's full led light except Thing, the turning signals something that I want to show you right now so if you turn on the turning signals and I don't know why man I mean you make such a beautiful designs and the car look wonderful but you still have to do something I mean the Renault uh, take the example of Hyundai they, they do the same man I mean with the new Kona is the same thing i mean everything it's led it looks great and then we have to do something like turning signals why not put a normal halogen light anyway but in general look quite nice so if you look from the distance and if you don't know uh, too many things about lights and stuff like that you won't notice that because they look relatively good now when it comes down here we have led lights on the down part on the number plate at least this is great 
And then if we go on the bumper in the back, six sensors on the rear, we have some nice sporty element on the down part. And then you have some light reflectors and the air diffuser on the down part look gorgeous. And you have this gray, gray plastic. It's in a, in a dark gray. It looks nice. Really, really nice. Anyway, if we go on the side, here's the tank, guys. You find it on the passenger side. And I noticed that the quality is quite good. I like also the clean design here in this area. Not only that they improve the, the aerodynamic, but also it looks clean. It looks nice also on the door, on the down part. The handles are also quite simple. The door's quality, very similar with the previous version. They sound quite good quality, so nothing to complain there. You have a big window here. We will see also the visibility from the interior. And then you have a big mirror, blind spot technology in the corner there. You can see the lights there. Then you have the LED light, turning signals. And here you have a camera because the car comes with 360 degrees camera. This is awesome. I will show you when we go inside. And then you have here, of course, Esprit Alpine writing on the both sides with this logo. So you know that they work on the car. So this is cool. It looks nice. Up here on the windshield, you have the camera and sensors. The camera can read the traffic speed limits and it also helps with lane assist and all that safety features. And it works together with the radar. Radar is located down here and it helps with adaptive cruise control, lane assist, all that safety features. On the upper side, you have the new Renault logo and then you have a front camera for 360 degrees camera and then you have this grill that it's beautiful I love the grill with a little bit of chrome touches here really nice and down here again some grill with some air intakes again in the front six sensors it start here on the side quite nice this is it this is the front end this is the car this is the exterior the only thing that I want to show you are the rims that are also alpine rims so you can see here writing with the blue insertion that signify uh, alpine then you have like ventilated brake discs on the front they are super cool uh, 17 inch rims by the way they look really really nice and on the rear of course brake discs and the same the same rims from uh, alpine esprit looking nice looking nice man down here under the doors you have also this plate plastic plate in gray dark matte anyway i'm done with it let me show you the engine bay now the car is on but it was uh it was silent because it's a full hybrid it stops sometimes when it doesn't need energy and every time you open the hood it will start the engine on almost all the hybrids here on the left side oh my god this is heavy oh boy this is really heavy the hood it's heavy it's small but it's heavy i think the, here they can also improve a little bit in terms of consumption and weight but i'm not sure how it's with the the safety thing because it's also matter and they take into consideration the safety thing when they make the hood now down here is the engine 1.6 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line and on the right side here you find all the electronics from the electric i think this is the inverter and down there it's some uh, is the electric motor somewhere but here on the right side you have the battery and then the, the liquid for the wipers is here so yeah Ooh, that was heavy and you see when you close the hood the engine is closed as well because it doesn't need to be on uh, when you have that full hybrid and it works on battery this is the fog lamp by the way if you didn't see it before if you want to open the trunk you press this button and you just open the trunk like that in the trunk i have a few things here that i probably have to take them out this is my uh, tripod i want to take it out and i want to show you a little bit better the trunk in the trunk you don't have a flat floor but you have a pretty deep trunk right here and i have to say that you have like maybe 30 centimeters here it's really deep some plastic at the entrance you have the Bose sound system speaker here in the back on the left side and then you have a normal halogen light yellow light and then uh, that's it you have some hooks in the corners and under this floor is the battery somewhere let me see if you still have space here but i don't think you have ah you have you still have a little bit of space that's nice for repair kit and all that stuff and on the left side is the battery 
yeah 1.2 kilowatt hour battery that's nice now you can take out also this protection to see how much space you have here and it's pretty easy to take it out and i like the fact that it's yeah let me it's quite light the entry is relatively big i mean for the size of the car it's quite fine and then you can see down there how much space you have here you can take an example from the numbers and yeah it's fine now if you want to fold down the seats you cannot fold the middle part so to carry long items you have to do it from here you just press this button and then just push it forward and then you pr press this one 60 40 yeah so you press it and then you have like maybe seven centimeters here up to 10 centimeters but relatively fine to carry your four tires in the winter or in the summer when you want to change it they are pretty much uh, okay i mean for the size of the car for what the car it is uh, this is the space it's very similar with what was before so not not a big difference open the door here yeah I forget to adjust my seat, man. Let me adjust the seat because then we have to go in the front. And I like the fact that you can adjust the seats very simple. You just pull it and look at this. You go down all the way on the, on the back, very simple. And I wanna put it in, by the way, manual adjustable seats. No, this is not my driving position, a little bit backward. Yeah, now it's good. Now this is my driving position. So now I can show you a little bit better. Also the seat belt, you have to always take it on the side and then when you put it back you have to take it from here put it like that and then put back the seats now the entrance is big surprisingly and why it's big because they have the windows only on the door they don't have any window here on the body of the car that allow them to make this big entrance and i like that quite quite big entrance here look great and this is the space this is the entrance in the back there down there in the trunk you can take a look and also in this area so pretty good the quality it's okay down here you have also a lot of space the transmission tunnel relatively small so it's it's pretty fine now let me put everything back and then we will go inside here we have a big window from one piece so the visibility you will see when i go inside it's great when it comes to door design it's pretty simple nothing different nothing complicated here and when it comes to material quality the only leather and soft material we have it in this area here other than this place everything is made in plastic you have some storage space you have a speaker another speaker two speakers the handle feel quite good as you touch it entrance it's big big entrance and from here you can see uh, the way it looks inside i will go inside and i'll show you also the space first of all i like very much the seats i like the fact that they add this blue insertion here the blue stitches uh, the quality it's very good and also the design it's nice you have some textile fabric material in the middle textile material here some leather here in this area the blue stitches is a fix for a child you can install two chair seats you have here in the middle also leather and here you don't have any armrest that's something to keep in mind but behind the front seat you have also uh, some plastic here you have some leather some storage space uh, the transmission tunnel maybe 10 centimeters and then in the middle here you don't have any vents any usb anything i wish although to add some kind of usb and also the vents in the back but yeah i guess in this price range it's okay now i want to close the door oh man i lock myself here by the way if you ever lock yourself in the back this is the trick you just open the windows and then open the door from outside <laughs> by the way if you want to fold down the window this is the way uh, this is how much you can fold it down close the door it sounds good and then i told you the visibility is very good not perfect but very good visibility uh, because it's a big window in this area it's it's fine uh, the position is also fine i'm 100 i'm 173 centimeters and this is the space here i have like four fingers over my head and on my knees this is the space check this out i have more than enough space for myself like 173 centimeters i can stretch my legs uh, completely under the front seat and it's great the position is great you don't have you have maybe a little bit of space here but overall it's it's comfortable i didn't expect that for the shape and for how small is the car i have good space for for my for my height it's, it's quite good up here on the roof i was surprised to see that it's a different material i didn't see this uh, on other cars until now it's kind of a fabric material textile material and it's good i mean from one to ten 
I will give it a, maybe a 7.5, something like that. Here you have also some LED lights. And in the middle, if I want to go in the middle, I can go relatively fine, but here it's quite stiffer. It's a little bit higher, so I have a little bit less space, maybe just one finger and stretch my hand, not so much. Stretch my hand, not so much. So for free people it will be really tight. Maybe for short trips it's okay, but for long trips, I don't think so. And uh, in terms of comfort, it's okay. On the back, it's okay. It's not stiff like in other cars because it doesn't have that armrest. But on the down part, it's pretty stiff. On the knees, it's okay. Space is fine. Here, it's fine. So, yeah, you will be just fine. Now, we will go in the front because there are the good stuff. I mean, the multimedia system, uh, the cockpit, the steering wheel is great. And also, uh, the way it looks, it's very, very mature, very modern, very nice lines, and they still keep that uh, Renault look, and I like that very much. We still have plenty of physical button in the front, and the design, from my point of view, of the dash look great. So the practicality and ergonomy, it's really good. So anyway, let's go in the front. On the front part, we have a big window from one piece and a small one. The fact that the window is big, you have a good visibility. I will show you later when we go inside. In terms of door, this time is not like on the rear. The design is much nicer. On the upper side, we still have plastic, but here we have textile material everywhere and a nice trim. And here we have soft leather everywhere. So this area here, it's with leather and good uh, quality. On the upper side, we have electric adjustable mirrors, also folding mirrors, electric windows, of course, lock the windows. And down here, storage space, pretty big storage space. And here you have the speaker. Alpine writing on a nice aluminum plate, aluminum pedals, I love that. And then let me show you the entrance, big entrance here. You can see from this angle. Uh, the entrance and you can see also from this angle those beautiful seats i have to say i like very much the seats i like the way they look and i like also the material you have side support and the side support are quite big one of the biggest side support i ever saw in a car so they hold you pretty well there down here the same side support pretty big textile material in the middle you have the french flag here colors the a from alpine and the quality it's pretty pretty good i like it here from up here you have this textile material in this area on the dashboard on the upper side you have soft material here like a rubber so the quality is great those are the handles pretty good some chrome design here you have the lane assist you can activate it while you're driving the brightness of the cockpit and then the position of the lights in the front and here you have heated steering wheel the great part that the car come with this function who surprisingly in this price range you have heated steering wheel and also heated seats for you and the passenger now this is kind of my driving position and i want to show you also the visibility it's it's super good around the windows very good around the mirrors in the mirrors also windshield also in the back around this mirror it's great the mirror have also nice tiny edges it looks great and around the car in the back maybe a little bit of blind spot in the corners but i will show you, you have 360 degrees camera you don't have to worry about the visibility although it's it's relatively okay and then you can see one more time the seats in the back here you have this leather armrest that you can adjust it so this is adjustable you see that and you can open it and you have some storage space down there you have some storage space here plus two cup holders and then you have the place for the key here electronic handbrake auto hold great functions and uh, the, the thing that i like the most is the fact that they put on this iceland the gear shifter is a little bit higher check this out and it's really easy to reach out and to change different position of the gears and you have some ambient light inserted in this area as well i'll try to show you also in the night time uh, if i will do a video with that but the quality it's pretty good now i want to start the car just like that and i want to show you something guys i want to go a little bit back look at the graphic the graphic is great when you start the car now i want to show you something you know when you go in reverse the second the first one it's reverse you can see that the car come with 360 degrees camera and the resolution is pretty good so you can see what's happening around the car you can see the different position different information and lines so you can park the car 
in uh, without any problem so this is this is awesome to have on this car these functions then you have the d mode d mode is normal driving mode but if you go in b mode b mode mean the car will regenerate even more energy that means when you release the acceleration you have that regenerative brake that's a little bit more powerful and this is a good great feature some space for the phone 12 volt port two usb c auxiliar in you have here and you have the climatic system and physical buttons i love those uh, renault use it on other models and even on dacia they use it and this is great i mean you have this climatic system this functions physical button easy to reach easy to control easy to establish uh, the temperature so i love that so from the point of view of physical button it's gorgeous on the upper side you have also some buttons like the ev mode you have to press this ev button when you have enough battery so if you want to drive only in electric mode you just try to press this one and the car will drive in electric mode if you have enough battery and then from here you change different driving modes so the car will come with a few driving modes but first of all let me go out from here so you can see you have like echo sport and you have this uh, sport echo and my sense from where you can choose yourself how you like to to have this so uh, every time you change the different driving modes even the cockpit will change so you can see let me press ok so you can see there in the front how it looks like with green it's changed the graphic so how cool is that i mean it's nice the cockpit it's really really cool uh the graphic the colors it's nice so check this out every time you change it it's changing also now what we have here we have the button this button is like uh, it will help you to park so if you look here you will have like a lot of parking options so you can park like vertical you can park horizontal you can park like incline and you can go out from parking or stuff like that so really cool features and if you press this one you will activate the 360 degrees cameras and from here you have hit it seats how cool is that then if you go back i love the, the the multimedia system and the screen it's so responsive so clear and it's a little bit tilted to the driver i like that so you have a good visibility from the driver point of view this is this is quite nice and another thing uh on it it's the fact that it's quite responsive it's quite okay it's a little bit matte you know they make it matte the screen is not glossy that means you don't leave fingerprints but it's also not so easy to to go a little bit you, you can see that it's not so uh how you say it doesn't slide so well the finger but it's okay i think many people will be happy with it and then you set a destination you can see how fast uh it's loading so one of the best uh, multimedia in this class for sure so I like that very much. Uh, so you press go the and then it's just go. Super nice. So the navigation, it's, it's one of the best from my point of view. You go to home from here. This is the home screen. And from here you can slide left and right. And here you can add some different widgets so you can customize the things the way you want it. So if you want to add the driving echo, if you want to add the multi-sense others and all that stuff, you can add them here. You can go down and you can add others. And you press here and wherever you want you can customize those screens and you can add them just like that and then you will have an extra screen right here the way you want it so the great part is that you can customize those uh, multimedia and this is this is good i mean now the second page you can choose wherever you want to have on the third page the same wherever you want to have you can see on the upper side here if you go directly here you can connect your devices so you can connect android auto and apple carplay uh, wireless so this is super super easy and cool so if you go here it will ask you if you want to connect it bluetooth and stuff like that and then you can connect it if i'm not wrong i already have a video on how to connect that then if you go here you have all the application of the car so you have the navigation settings radio setting music settings and if you go to application you have all the applications like videos and photos so you can watch here videos and photos if you put it on usb then you have the car information all the information about the car here you have the system information and then on the car information you have driving echo all this coaching information about how to drive and 
how to accelerate and it gives you some tips and stuff like that help you drive more economical energy information you find it here like a list so you see the consumption on the last kilometers and then the flow it shows you what happened with the energy with the motor by the way the electric motor it's integrated in the transmission that's why it shows you here i forget to tell you in the beginning and the battery is under the trunk and here is the petrol uh, engine so pretty nice tire pressure and all that stuff so it's it's pretty cool and pretty easy and simple to go in different settings then you have the settings the main settings where you have the language the sound settings keyboards device all that stuff plus if you go to vehicle settings you have driver assistance system from here you change all that safety features like following distance active brake blind spot lane keeping assist from here you choose uh, for example early vibration medium and stuff like that all the safety features you find it around here and then you find also the parking assistance systems so you can activate those uh, cameras and stuff like that then you have like multi-sense different driving modes echo sport and my sense and e-save for those of you that don't know what it's e-sense when you activate the e-sense it will kind of save the energy for later so you can go in edit here so you can edit uh, also the steering feeling like regular comfort and sport this is cool and then you can uh, lightning you can also control it from here you can choose whatever light ambient light you want to see on the down part so here you can see it's green right now so you can change it to red and now it's transforming to red and you have those colors here and the brightness you can make it much more brighter it looks much better now anyway in the nighttime look cool and then you have the cluster instrument cluster where you can also change uh, regular comfort and you can change how you like to have it or sport mode and it looks really interesting so yeah anyway and uh, yeah those are the settings here you can go even here and reset everything now if i go back you have car configuration from where you find all the turning signal volume and the access in the car hands-free and you choose how you like to have the access wipers and lights and then you have the welcome uh, so this is pretty cool and also you can reset everything to zero so in general this is all so from here you have also maintain the battery so all you have to do if you want to maintain the battery maintain battery level to support engine performance you press on if you don't want it you press off so you, the, the car will use the energy as well so in general this is it the steering wheel you can adjust it manually up down forward backward very simple super nice steering wheel the quality the grip the way it looks is super super nice new logo we have some chrome some piano black we have the colors here french logo the grip it's great the lid little holes here it's super nice uh, I like it the quality the size it's great visibility wise it's good behind the steering wheel on the down part you have all the functions for the uh, multimedia I mean the the sound system and the track and the radio and all that stuff you have also the stalks and behind is the cockpit that you saw it before on the cockpit you can also customize and see in the middle different information like the navigation you can have all the map on the screen that's my favorite part is the fact that you can have the map directly on the screen and this is great and then of course you can have also the my sense information so on the right side it shows you some information about consumption and the graphic what happened with the energy and you can go even here on the car to show you the journey and some extra information about the car then is the media and then is the map that's my favorite view and every time you change the driving mode it's changing also the graphic there on the upper side you have the mirror you saw it before very nice mirror very tiny edges and the quality and the visibility in the back it's quite fine you can see from here on the upper side some led lights and sos button and here you have a microphone and the vanity mirror without any light so yeah this is it ah by the way on the a pillar you have the bose sound system on the boat a pillar the bose sound system it's there all right guys so that was the video i hope you enjoy it i hope you you get some useful information from this review with the brand new renault clio from my point of view i think it's a great car with a great price i'm not sure in different country what is the price you have to check yourself but if you compare uh, this car with the competition with what this car offer 
and how is to drive i think it's a great overall a great car to take into consideration if you want to buy it and my rating for it from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 i think it's a it's a great car and definitely definitely check it out anyway guys i hope you get some useful information if you like it if you uh, find it useful don't forget to like share subscribe i would really appreciate and also thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos if you want to see the test drive check out on the channel probably the videos are already there if they are not check out next days or click the subscribe button to see the notification when that videos with test drive will come out because it will be really interesting to see it on the road there it's really important the driving feeling other than that if you want to buy the car see the car test drive the car check out Gallicker garage in Argau or check it out in Switzerland they are almost in many cities so I will leave the link in the description also on the screen so you can check them out if you want to buy the car test drive the car see the car and also they have a 2000 francs discount on this version if I'm not wrong that was the video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you get some useful information stay safe and I see you soon in the next one bye guys